Hey, good morning, everyone. TGIF, happy Friday. Kind of a steamy, steamy Friday morning. Temperatures in the upper 70s. Kind of muggy out here this morning. Down in Area 2 Beach. Go down south here just a little ways. When I had left yesterday, there were 23 confirmed sea turtle nests, and they were still going to check out a couple more nests. If we had any more crawls last night, I'm sure we had a couple crawls last night. Starting to get into that active part of the nesting season now. Oh yeah. There's this looks like a new nest right here. Oh, 25. Nest number 25. How about that? So we're up to 25. As of now, I don't know what. The count will be by the end of today, but 25 nests. That's awesome. One, one night, well, I don't know if it was last year or the year before, we had 11 crawls on the beach, on this little stretch of beach at Del Norwigans. That was a lot of sea turtles coming up. That would have been a fun night to camp out on the beach. Oh, I'm not going to walk all the way down to the end. I'm going to turn around and head north, check in with our friend Roy. Yesterday I came out just for a couple minutes. Just took a little walk on the beach, didn't go live. And Roy said he's got a word for us today. He's going to give us a word for the day, so we got to get up there and get a word of the day from Roy. Beautiful. Still got some of those early morning colors there in the sky. Look how calm that water is. Really, really flat out there. I want to take a quick, quick little photo. Bear with me here. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Let's walk up the beach. See if there are any new crawls last night. I think we have five. Five yesterday. And out of those, I think four of them were confirmed. Beautiful out here early in the morning like this. Look at this conch shell down here. Wow. Look at the patterns on that conch. Beautiful, beautiful shell. Florida fighting conch. That's a gorgeous shell right there. Got some nice stripes on it. Definitely a keeper.
Not seeing a lot of shells on the beach though. For some reason, there's not too many shells down on the south end of the beach lately. More up towards the north end. I don't know why that is. It's that boardwalk over there. That, that's, this is the north end of Area 2 Beach. It's that boardwalk that I had a picture of yesterday with that beautiful blue sky looking up to the north. Give you a look around here, out into the Gulf. Pretty flat out there this morning. Gorgeous. Got some rain out there too. Just a little sh little shower out there. Nothing major. Nothing that I'm worried about. Let's look into the south. If you look really close, you can see a couple of our sea turtle nests out there on the beach. You can see one right over there to the left of that post, one a little further down. That's nest number two right there at the base of the boardwalk there. That was the second nest we had right there. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think our friends Scott and Linda are gonna be out here this morning. Haven't seen them. Well, heck, I haven't seen them, I don't think, since last weekend. Listen to those little waves. Nest number 20 over there. Ooh, what do I see over there? Yeah, I thought I saw some signs of a raccoon, tr raccoon trying to dig in there, but nope. Those raccoons, they can find their way around those metal cages and get to the eggs. Pesky little critters. Pretty muggy out here. Humid. We had some rain yesterday. That always brings the humidity up. We're a couple hours away from low tide. We're in area three right now. If you can see right out here, you can see the waves breaking if you look close. See those waves breaking right out in there. It's like a new little island, a new little sandbar. That'll probably see that at low tide, but see this contraption over here, they're pumping the sand out from Wiggins Pass. It's coming out here out of this barge. They're just dumping it all along the shore. So we're getting all these new little sandbars popping up offshore. Pretty wild. Lots of birds taking advantage of that at low tide.
Where's nest number 24? This was, this I believe, these are the tracks. This is what I took a picture of yesterday. This was the crawl that I took that picture of early in the morning. So that was another confirmed nest there. See, that's the, the picture I took yesterday. We saw the crawl tracks coming up and going back. So that was nest number 24, awesome. So I'm guessing 25 nests as of yesterday. I have not seen any more crawls yet this morning. Any more tracks. I really expected to see quite a few this morning. Not so far now, there might be some down at the very south end of the park down in area one. That's a pretty big stretch of beach down there. I didn't make it down there. Because today I do want to try and get up to the pass. People have been seeing some dolphins in the morning up in Wiggins Pass. It'd be fun to see some dolphins if they're up there. I think I see Roy all the way up at the end of the beach. Beautiful out here. In summertime, it is so quiet. Pretty much have the place to yourself if you come out here. Get yourself an annual pass for Florida State Parks so you can come out here 24-7. Have unlimited access to the park, to all of Florida State Parks. Isn't that beautiful? Gorgeous. It'll be a little while before that sun makes it up over the trees. right down in here. There's one of our first nests there. That's nest number three. As far as I can tell, we had got four more new nests yesterday on the beach. These are all loggerhead sea turtle nests. There's an old set of, there's a set of old crawl tracks. You can just barely see them right here. Huh. No signs of any crawls yet. Not what I expected. I expected to see several by now. You know, a couple people were commenting about seeing lots of sand dollars on the beach at Clams at Clam Pass and also at um, down by the pier. I don't know what's causing that. Up here, I'd attribute it to the dredging. 
because they're pumping all that sand up and really churning things up. So I'm sure they're killing a lot of sea life with that operation. I don't know why they're washing up on the beaches down to the south of us. The little sand dollars. Look at that sky. Beautiful. That's looking to the east. Not getting those beautiful colors, but still beautiful. Still beautiful out there. That's not good. What the heck is that? It looks like fishing line. What the heck is that? <laughs> what the heck is that? Wow, no sea turtle crawls. Very unusual. Getting right into the heart of nesting season now. With five crawls yesterday morning, I would have expected to see several up here. Huh. It's kind of interesting. No, we really don't have any nests up at the north end of the park. They're all down behind me to the south. There's one up here but i'm sure it's all because of this dredging operation that's going on offshore here because there's a huge pipe that runs all the way from wiggins pass down to this thing over here pumping the sand out so i'm sure that scares sea turtles away i'm sure it makes some noise under there underwater so they've been staying down to the south All right, where's all the seashells at this morning? Still got an hour, oh, almost two hours before low tide. Earlier, I was telling you how we're getting all these new little sandbars popping up. Here's another one. This is all new out here. This is all new, this sand out here. This part of the beach here, this is Area 4 Beach, has changed immensely in shape, size. It's gotten much bigger.
all because of the dredging. out here Gorgeous, just beautiful. That's definitely a Kodak moment right there. Definitely a Kodak moment. Bear with me. Sorry about that. It's all these little, all these little gulls just diving into the water, flying around, diving into the water. Pelicans, see the pelicans flying by? There's like a little lagoon over here that they're sitting in. <laughs> you can hear the seagulls if you listen close. This is right out in front of where Roy sits. It's this little, it's like a little lagoon now. This is all new. something else absolutely gorgeous definitely I gotta take another photo I'm sorry what a gorgeous morning Look at that sky. Wow. Is that not a picture? I keep leaving you, yeah, I know. Just taking pictures, sorry. Well, I really haven't seen any really interesting shells yet other than that nice fighting conch that I picked up earlier that was about it I don't know where all the shells have gone it's like they all disappeared I haven't seen any signs of any new sea turtle crawls Maybe there was one down the south. Maybe a ranger will let me know later. Maybe there's a little, maybe there's been some action up by Wiggins Pass. Who knows? I'll try to get up there, make it up there. Here's a piece of an old lightning whelk. Very old, old lightning whelk. Old like me. That's just really the inside of it. Old lightning whelk. There's a white ibis up here. 
a lone white ibis on the beach. Roy in the background. That's a white ibis. A very common bird here in Southwest Florida, not just at the beach. You see big flocks of these in neighborhoods. A lot of these ibis at the Naples Zoo, too. The white ibis. And behind the ibis, there's the mayor of the beach, Mr. Roy Hazy, the mayor of Del Norwegian's Pass State Park. <laughs> Terry making his morning rounds, his beach patrol. Roy picking up some trash on the beach, good for him. There's a little fighting conch shell down here. Let's see what it looks like. Get the sand off it. That's a nice little fighting comp. That's a that's almost a full size, not quite. That's a nice looking one. I got another one in my pocket here. Show you the difference. Like, you'll find them in all different colors. See how the one on the right's a little darker. Great colors. The Florida fighting conks. Hey Rob, how are you doing Good, today? Good, Roy. What's up? You're here bright and early today. Yep. That's wonderful. Thought oh, I, just I had pink sky this morning. Best sky I've ever seen. Yeah, I saw that. Unbelievable, was, man. Awesome. Then the sun came up, man. What a what a that morning. Was nice, huh? Any dolphins down there? No dolphins. No dolphins. Just glorious, glorious sky. Oh, on the north and the south, it filled yeah. up the whole sky. It was unbelievable. I saw that from down there, from yeah. down at the end there, but... Yeah, unreal. Then the sun came up between the buildings there. And, yeah. Oh, boy. We're running on to the longest day here pretty soon. Oh, are we getting there already? Yeah, yeah, yeah 21st. The 21st is... The uh, spring solstice. The solstice. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Vernal solstice, I guess it's called. The 21st. Yeah, the first day of, uh, of uh, springtime or something. Right. Well, we'll be, I'll be gone. I'm leaving the 22nd for a while. Oh, really? Yeah. Where are you off to? Oh, uh, just up north to see my, our youngest daughter and oh, how wonderful. some friends. And oh, that's good. We'll be good. gone for a couple weeks. Oh, no kidding. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'll miss you down here. Gosh sake, it won't be the same without you. Hey, good morning, good morning. Karen and yeah. Scott over there. Yeah, there they are. Happy Friday, TGIF. <laughs> you need to run over there and get a hug, Roy. Yeah. Don't be standing here talking to me. Looking forward to that. <laughs> but well, we'll, um, when are you going to be leaving? The 22nd. 22nd? Yep, Friday. I'll Early in the morning. Oh, I'll miss you down here. That's yeah, I'll miss being here, You're here believe an institution me. institution on the beach. <laughs> Hey, Scott, how are you doing, man? I picked, I picked up the wrong wife this morning. I know. I'm like, is you got, is he swapping now? Is that what's going on? No, no. <laughs> oh, no. He said, oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No, Linda wasn't feeling up to it. And yeah. I pulled in the parking lot, and Karen's sitting there. Because, right. Waiting oh, no. for Scott and Linda. Yeah. And then I just saw her text, and I was like, that. oh. Oh. Linda wants to know why it took you so oh, long to get here. <laughs> yeah. 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 I did leave an hour ago. Yeah. Five minute drive. Yeah. Whoops. Oh, oh gosh. Oh, no. So, did you find anything? You haven't been out here, have you? No, heck no. I've been busy. Working. That floor looks great. Myself. Oh, really? yeah. My body's, like my body's, my body's uh, hurting, so I think I'm going to have to take a day off today. There you go. My it's nephews little, were going to come help me unload the pod tomorrow. Maybe a little fish fry action later. Oh, I suspect. <laughs> I suspect that for sure. Awesome. I'm working up a good appetite with all this work. So. Oh, man. Tell guys... Corey, look out. I'm going to have extra inventory today. There you go. <laughs> Hungry. I, have, yes, I haven't seen anything fantastic yet, but I haven't hit this part. It's uh, Nothing pretty down. out here, but man, that sandbar out there has got oh, it's getting crazy. It almost looks like a pretty big dip yep. in there. 
Wow. Low tides, another, what, hour and a half or so. It'll be. Yeah, 9 o'clock. They're still It'll pumping, too. Oh, yeah. They just started pumping again down here. Beautiful, they must, though. They must have pumped it and it filled the bend back in. Yeah, I don't know what. I don't know. They had the barge down there, then they moved it up and back. I don't understand. There's no rhyme or reason to what they're doing here, but. They must have some. Baby dot. <laughs> yeah, I think. They get they get extra money every time they move the barge. <laughs> Someone's getting paid. Yeah. Did uh, hey, I saw the purple flag was up this morning too. What's the uh, what do they consider dangerous sea life out here? Um. Wow, you saw the purple flag. Yeah, the green and the purple are flying. Well, that could be stingrays. I mean, I know they have uh, jellyfish issues somewhere yeah. Yeah. over on the other side. Maybe I never really noticed a lot of jellyfish here. But, but, uh, I think that's over on the east coast. Yeah, the it could be. It could be stingrays. Huh, we'll have to keep an eye. That's right, because uh, somebody said they saw a bunch of stingrays. Yeah, there. I mean that's when the water warms up. It's when we start seeing them. But, cool. But this, it's changed so much here. I mean, we used to see them all along the shoreline here, stingrays. How do you know now? Now it's so screwed up with this dredging. Yeah, where's the shoreline? I mean, it's weird. No turtles are coming up to the north end of the park. They, we used to have them all up. All along here. Now they're all down. Look how far they have to crawl. Right. (laughs) Yeah. It's crazy. I I think we got to do some shelling. Yeah, I think so. I had to come out for a walk. See if that'll help my back do uh, it. I'm good. So I'm just for a walk. Oh, Roy, uh, I'll be back in a little while. You got a word for us. You said yes, sir. Don't share it yet. You got a word for us. (laughs) Yep. All right. We'll be back. Yeah. <laughs> now, I've shown you kittens' paws a lot of times. And somebody said they call these oyster shells. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These big oyster shells, they call them lion paws. Let me see if I can find a little kitten paw here and show you the two. I might be wrong, but somebody said they call those lion paws, these big oyster shells. Let me find a kitten paw. A kitten's paw. Ah, here's a little coconut uh, apple murex. It's got a little hole in it. Rob, I got that little bag of shells in the uh, car. Did you okay, want sure, I'll get that, that later. Anybody? I'll get that later. Oh, okay. I'll get that. I did, but they never showed up. No, they're all right. They got their own. Look at that—a little conch and a little olive shell. Okay, that's good, Roy. I know you you take keep the old ones. Oh yeah. <laughs> I can't tell if that's a Oh, oh that's that is a, that is an awesome kitten's paw with both. That is a great shell. Linda usually finds that is nice. Complete ones. show. Somebody told me put that olive in my pocket. Somebody said they call these lion's paws. Those out these big ones i don't know because i've i've seen bigger ones of these too but i've heard some some about lion's paws but is that that a it's an it's it's kind of an oyster that looks like almost like an oyster because i've seen bigger shells like this with wider ones on it that's a nice little kitten's paw there very cool yeah lucky linda lucky linda that's her favorite right yep (laughs) there's a bunch of conks over here just pretty ones all over the place there are a lot of conks Oh, there's lots of little ones, too. Lots and lots of little conks. There's another nice little conk. Roy's a good spot. (laughs) (laughs) It just fell out of the sky. I don't know where it came from. Kind of, um, the beach is pretty clean though this morning as far as shelling. There's a nice, nice big cockle shell over here. 
The cockles. The cockle shells, aren't they? Those are so cool. We got lots of cockles. That's a nice cockle shell right there. What'd you find? Oh, beautiful. Nice big moon shell. Was that in the water? No, that's here. Oh, wow, nice. That almost looks like a blue one. Nice, Karen. That is a nice size moon shell. Shark eyes. I always find them smaller, so it's nice to find. That's a nice one, yeah, good find. Yeah. That is awesome. What a nice shell. That was a great looking shark eye. I'm getting bitten by no seams out here this morning. Not liking them. Hmm. Itching. Here's another one of them little sandbars that popped up. See, just offshore here. That'll be fully exposed in a little while. Boy, lots and lots of little conks. Lots and lots of little conch shells on the beach this morning. Gorgeous out here, just beautiful. Beautiful sky and some interesting clouds. Anything out on this little sandbar? I think it was Tuesday. Last well, Tuesday morning. We found a big, uh, not a big, we found a live lightning whelk out here crawling around. Everybody got to get a great look at a lightning whelk. That was very cool. A live lightning whelk. It's always neat to see what lives inside these shells that we find on the beach. out here and we'll look back up the beach look down the beach it's always a great view from out in the water it's a little different perspective when you look back at the beach from out here Those waves are really breaking on the edge of the sandbar out there. Look at them. It's pretty neat. No, they're gone. <laughs> Well, did you find anything good yet? Nothing too good. So far, that moon shell looks like the fine, so far, the fine for the morning. That was a nice one. Lots of 
little guys. Scallop. The old scallop, yep. Almost all of it there, the scallop shell. Little kitten paw. Oh, there's a double. Another full kitten paw shell. That's kind of neat when you find the whole thing. I wonder what's in there. I wonder if there's a kitten in there. <laughs> Kitten's paw. A wormy. A little wormy. A little worm tip. Worm shell. Another little olive shell over here. Pretty chipped up. Pretty chipped up, the olive shell. Oh, little tiny shells here, little bitty ones. Where's all the big shells? Nothing. Just all little babies, that's right. Little baby shells this morning. Oh, here's a nice little pile. There's probably something buried in there. Just gotta take your time. Be patient when you're out here shelling. I kind of wanted to get up to Wiggins Pass and see what that looked like. And then hurry up and get back and talk to Roy. Ooh, the sun's gone behind the clouds. It's getting kind of dark out here. Another nice little pile. A little pile up of shells here on the beach. Scott and Karen will go through those, I'm sure. Hopefully they'll find something neat and share it with us. This is almost impassable at high tide here. You have to take the high road. Low tide, you can still get around, but we've lost our, almost our entire beach up here in area five. At least this stretch here, the southern end of it is gone. Sad, sad. Come on, Mr. Sunshine. so amazing how the beach changes from day to day. A couple days ago, there were shells all over this beach right here, this section of the beach. Now they're just about all gone. Amazing. Beautiful colors.
where they're getting the sand from. That sand that you see coming out of the barge down in front of Roy, it's being pumped from all the way up here, from these dredges up there. fighting conch shell down here. See if anybody's home. Nope. Nobody home. An empty shell. Look at the point on that one. Boy. That's really defined. It's got some nice definition. Florida fighting conch. See, yeah, they can be cleaned up. Scrub them. Take a brush to them. Get that algae off them. They're beautiful shells. Beautiful shells. That's a nice one. Shells rolling in and out here in the waves. Can't grab them. <laughs> as soon as I see them, the waves wash them away. There's a piece of a pen shell down here. Very common, these pen shells, these big flat. It's just a piece of a pen shell. Some neat barnacles on it. Definitely would want to step on that. They, that's about what sticks up out of the sand. They bury themselves in the sand and that portion of it's sticking up. The pen shell. have many people watching this morning pretty quiet morning where's everybody at time to get up there's a big piece of coral piece of coral. I don't know if anybody's up here fishing this morning. Another cockle shell. Nice little cockle shell. Little worm tip, a tip of a worm shell. 
kind of a quiet morning this morning. Still, I haven't found any treasures. Karen, Karen earlier, Karen found a nice shark eye down by Roy. Moon shell. So far, that's the nicest shell I've seen this morning. Look down here in the water. This is where you, you got a good eye. You might spot something wash up here. Piece of a scallop. Piece of a little scallop shell. I mean the shells just roll in and roll out with the waves, so you gotta you gotta be quick when you spot something. You gotta just reach down and go for it. Because it will be gone. Right in between the waves, you'll see this little ridge down here. Uh, connections weak here. All along this little ridge is where the shells kind of roll in. And then they roll right back out. I I can get a better connection if I walk a little further up the beach here. of our fishing friends. Looks like they're headed home already. Must not have had any luck. No luck. Nothing. <laughs> no luck. Look that noisy old barge pumping away. Dredging out Wiggins Pass. Oh, the sand is really soft here. This is the north end of the park, the north end of Del Norwegian's Pass State Park. Of course, this is Wiggins Pass here. That's the mouth of the Coquihatchee River. And just on the other side of the pass, that's Barefoot Beach Preserve, another beautiful beach. over 6,000 feet of beach there and that's from the closest parking lot the closest parking lot to the end of that beach there is oh almost a half a mile away so if you want to walk down to the end of barefoot plan on hiking <laughs> you can walk along a beach or there's a nature trail there's actually two nature trails through the woods back there in the summertime you better make sure you have your bug spray These, look, there's some waves out here. It's a pretty strong current, actually. See these waves? There is a strong current running through here this morning. It's coming right down this way. And along the shore, it is strong. That's why they don't want you swimming out here. Some nasty currents. Well, I was hoping we'd see a dolphin or two, but nope. That 
The sun's hiding behind the clouds. Gosh darn it. Well, we'll start walking back. See how our friends are doing. Karen and Scott. Yeah, they're not too far behind me. That's not a good sign. <laughs> they haven't been stopping much. check up here for clam shells got a friend needs a lot of clam shells for a project there's not that many up here oh here's an interesting looking fighting conch look at this one this is a nice light one light yellow kind of faded out still got a nice color nice orange inside Beautiful up at this end of the park. All the sea oats up there. Absolutely gorgeous. This is up in North Naples, North Naples, Florida. Looks like a big phoenix. See the the wings spread out. Pretty cool. Neat clouds. And you can hear that darn dredge back there. I'll be so glad when that operation is done. And our beach goes back to normal. Scott found something. He's washing something off down there. Hey, if you're new to the group here, to the beach walks, introduce yourself, let everybody know where you're watching from. That's a giant, is that worm rock? Yeah. That's a giant piece there. So, I saw you rinsing stuff off, what'd not, you find? Not Nothing? much of anything, no. I just grabbed this because Linda grabbed a piece similar to this the other day. Maybe you'll find all the pieces. So, well, we'll go back together. Yeah, Maybe. <laughs> what, you find any more some... moon shells? No. No, no more moon that shells? Was... Oh, that no, one was that not. Was the, that's, that's Jackpot Friday that's today. The, that's the find yeah, for the yeah, day. <laughs> one moon shell. So, Very nice. One small cockle that's got lots oh, of yeah. definition oh, to yeah. it. Oh, yeah. That's a nice so, little cockle. That's an old one. Wow. A little different. Yeah. So. There's a great one here, though. I, yeah. That's almost got a blue eye. That might be a, a Paul Newman. <laughs> yeah. Right. Paul Newman. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. I'll see you guys back down there. All right. Good luck. Look at the size of this piece of worm rock down here on the beach. Get this leaf out of it. Look at that. That is one big old chunk of worm rock. Look at that hole right through it. That is a nice piece of worm rock. I wish I had an aquarium. That is really cool. Wow.
See all the little worm tubes? That is awesome. Got a lot of some big clam, big old clam shells on the beach up here. If you need some bowls or ashtrays. Got some big ones. out the old high tide mark here the old high tide line not seeing anything along here some old oh look at this i'm keeping this one that is a really there's a little piece of worm rock but look at that that is really really cool look at that look at the tubes in that thing that is an awesome little specimen. Wow. Worm rock. What else? What else? So Scott found you a really nice kitten's paw, Linda. A nice whole one. It's kind of opened up a little bit. It's a nice size, too. nothing a lot of broken shells on the beach this morning a lot of broken ones I've seen a lot of broken whelks and conks be checking in with Roy here shortly as I make my way back down the beach. He's got a word of the day for us. Can't wait to hear what that is. any sea turtle crawls last night that I'm aware of. We had five the night before. At least four confirmed nests yesterday. We're up to, I believe, 25. I didn't see 26. I saw a nest 25. So we're halfway to the 50 mark with our sea turtles. I think I've, the most I remember here on the beach was 57. One night we had 11 crawls. I don't know if that was last year or the year before. 11 crawls in one night on this stretch of beach here. That was a lot. That kept the rangers busy. <laughs> for sure. Up in this stretch of beach, the waves always get a little more intense. Must be because of the shape of the bottom. I mean, it's really calm out there, but yet we have these little waves pounding on the shore here.
overcast morning. That sun's up, it's just behind the clouds this morning. A little piece of a cockle shell down here. You can almost always count on finding some cockle shells out at the beach. There's an old, there's a pen shell down here, almost. It's a baby. It's got a hole in it, but there's another pen shell I showed you one earlier. They call it a pen shell. This had the, the whole end on it. If you kind of hold it like that, it looks like a writing pen. So that's how they got its name, the pen shell. This one's a little busted up. It's hard. You really got to use your imagination to see that. <laughs> but those are pen shells. Really fragile, the pen shells. Very thin. Wondering if there's any shells over here in the water. The tide's still going out. Yeah, there's some shells down here. Kind of hard to see. Got to catch it in between the little waves. Water is cloudy again. Thanks to that darn dredging. See the sand, how it all gets stirred up here. Makes it pretty hard to see down there. Check out the high tide line here. Very quiet morning this morning here. It's me and the flies. They're all over the place. I don't know why we have so many flies lately. There's the arm of a sea star. The arm. So that means we got some sea stars out there. There's one of the arms. Well, it's probably a nine-armed sea star. I 
kind of an uneventful morning. Hopefully Roy will have something good to share with us this morning. There's a little piece of finger coral down here. Kind of neat, the finger coral. There's a lot of shells here. They've been here for quite a while though. They washed up a couple weeks ago. People have really picked through them. That doesn't mean there's not something interesting down there though, but you just gotta take the time to look. There's another nice little pile of shells. There's a slipper shell down here. Yeah, it's a broken one, darn it. Let's see if I can find a better slipper shell down here. Where's a slipper? They're usually all over the place, except when I want to find one. When I want a slipper shell, they're not around. It's all broken ones. Little, another little kitten. Kitten spa, those are cool. Little kitten paw shell. All right, where's a slipper? I want to show you a slipper shell, why they call them a slipper shell. I see lots of them down here, but they're broken. Come back here, there's a big pile of shells. Okay, where's a nice slipper shell? There's a little one over here. Let's see what shape condition it's in. Okay, that's a good one. This one I'll definitely explain. The slipper shell. Why is that called a slipper shell? Well, you turn it over. See, it looks like a little slipper. A little bedroom slipper, the slipper shell. Very common shells here at the beach, the slipper shells. All different colors and sizes. Sometimes you can find them work the big round ones. See how it looks like a little slipper? A little auger shell over here. Nice little auger shell. Those are cool. Little hole in it. It's amazing when you stop and look at a pile of shells like this. You just, the more you look at it, the more you're gonna start seeing. Things just start. Look at this. A little baby moon shell. Isn't that cool? A little baby moon. A shark eye. See what happens when you stop and spend a little time and look? Beautiful shells here at the beach. See that? It was definitely worth stopping and looking. Got that little baby shark eye. Very cool. You just never know. Look at that. There's a little baby whelk. Piece of one. Half of a whelk. Half of a little baby lightning whelk. And I didn't really dig around. I'm just kind of looking at the on the surface. So 
definitely stop and take your time when you come across what looks like nothing. You might be surprised at what you find. Look at that beautiful little scallop. Gorgeous little scallop shell. Well, that little moon shell, that was a nice little find. I never leave here with empty pockets. <laughs> I always leave the beach with something. But it looks like a top of maybe a lightning whelk over here. Oh, piece of a big old moon shell. Yeah, it's the top of the moon shell. Look at that. That's the, where the eye is. See that? That's the inside of the eye of a moon shell. This might have been a nautica. Not a moon, a shark eye. Very cool. Lots and lots and lots of little treasures buried here. And the seaweed. I found a beautiful seahorse here one time. We do have a, a reef offshore. Lots of interesting little critters swimming around out there. Lots of eels. We saw a lot of those unfortunately dead on the beach with our red tide. A lot of eels. And the shell's just crunching under my feet. Wow. All these little pockets. When the tide comes up, you get these little pockets of water get trapped here by this little ridge. All kinds of little things get caught back here. Looks like a white scallop shell down here. Look at that. A white one. There's another nice little slipper shell. Oh no. <laughs> Picked it up and had a big hole in it. Put right next to it. Look at that. Little baby cockle shell. Just this little baby there. Another piece of a moon shell. Piece of a shark eye. Just kind of half a one here. Good look at the eye though. That scallop. Look at the shape of that. Nice shape. Another little cockle shell over there. Right in the middle. A 
Lots of slipper shells. Lots and lots of slippers. Nice slipper. Yeah, I want to get over there and chat with Roy. I don't want to use up my battery here, all of my battery. Stretch here for a minute. Stand up straight. That stooping. This, they call it the Sanibel Stoop when you bend over when you're shelling. Sanibel Island's noted for its great shelling. Here's a piece of a little turkey wing shell. A little turkey wing. Looking south down our beach, a mile of beach here at Del Norwegans. It's definitely on its way out here. Here's our friend Roy up there with his book, always reading. Let's see what the word of the day is, the word that he has for us for today. Well, hey, how's everything? It's everything's good. What you got in the bag? Well, I got some nice cold water. Some nice cold water. <laughs> yeah, I do what Scott does. It works good. You put it, put the bottle in the freezer, uh -huh. and then it's frozen here, and it uh, gradually thaws. You drink the nice cold water, and yep. the ice stays You've in there. Always got some ice water. <laughs> yeah, good idea. Works good. Oh, boys, still reading your book there? It's well, a different I, I, I one. That's a different a one. one. What you reading now? Oh, it's a big expedition here. Islands? The expedition to explore from Russia. They're exploring all, the, all over the place here. Where are they going? Huh. Got a picture here. Oh. Oh, wow. From Alaska, oh, Alaska, they went all the way to Siberia here. Wow. And they they covered some territory. Yeah, yeah, amazing. Wow. So there, China, under Peter the Great, he authorized the, the building of the ships and the wow. big exploration. Wow. Yeah. So when was that? 17, well, here's all the 1728 Bering. Bering was the navigator in wow. Chirikov or something. 1741, St. Peter. And 1742, return wow. of Bering's companions. Well, they... Most of them died of scurvy. I don't think they knew about right. about eating limes. Remember, they, oh, the yeah. British were all called limeys because yeah. they ate limes to, <laughs> so they wouldn't all get scurvy. Yeah. <laughs> I think that was a, a lack of vitamin C, wasn't it, the scurvy? I think so, yeah. Yeah. Well, I take a lot of vitamin yeah, C. Yeah, so. you don't have to worry about scurvy. <laughs> <laughs> You're in good shape. Don't want scurvy. Yeah. A lot of oranges and vitamin C, I think that probably helps a lot. There you go. <laughs> well. And you know, hugging the beautiful girls, I think. Well, that, that definitely that helps. Does, does a lot for your health. You know, even if it doesn't, who cares? 
<laughs> You're right. <laughs> hugging the girls is a good thing. No Let's matter assume what. it works. Yep. Wonders on your health. <laughs> well, it does psychologically. Absolutely. And that's that's kind of ties in with the good word that you wanted from me. Oh, you morning. got a good word. Okay. Yeah. The word is strength. 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 Okay. You got to be strong, not only physically, which certainly is nice, and you can do things you want to do, but you have to be strong mentally and emotionally. Probably emotionally is the most important of all. Be strong emotionally so you don't have anger and fury. You have to be the strength to, to stay calm when, ah. when things are not uh, the way you would prefer. And you have to be, have the strength. You have to mentally be strong uh, so that your, uh, you exercise your brains just like your body. Otherwise, the old brains deteriorate. It's the <laughs> yes, same it as does. a muscle. You yes, get foggy and dopey and you don't know what you're doing. But if you exercise your brains, you got to have some project that stimulates your mind. So that's important. So emotional strength and you got to be strong emotionally so you don't weep and wail about about problems. And, uh, right. and um, so uh, and you have you're full of joy and thankfulness. That's part of emotional strength. And so physically, emotional, spiritual strength. Spiritual is very important. You have important, to realize yeah. that God's gifts to us and be thankful for those and be strong spiritually and talk to God and, and feel like you're one of his creations. And so the strength that covers a, quite, a, quite an area, it, it covers your whole activity it really. It, it ties into your conduct. Good word. Good so, advice. That's the word. Be strong. Be strong. Not only physically, but in all the other aspects, yeah. mentally, emotionally, spiritually. Be strong. Your friendships make strong companionships. Good advice. Strengthen everything. Well, I'm and then be I think today. I think you feel as though the good Lord is smiling on you when you when you keep strong. You you feel that He's smiling on you and and pleased with your. Uh, activity and, uh -huh. and that there's that's a wonderful peaceful uh, joyful feeling when you feel that God is pleased with you you're so so yeah. so right so I think keeping strong and, and being a good person is it, it helps with, and uh, it's uh, this uh, spiritual feeling is something that turns around and comes in I mean we don't know uh, we hope that God is watching over us and here's our prayers but Basically, I think they come back to us, and it makes us feel good. So, good be strong in your prayers too, because they make you feel good. <laughs> well, that's a fact. I and mean, it you... seems uh, uh, miraculously, they seem to work. When you ask God for something, it comes to pass. It's one of the big miracles of life. Well, it never hurts to ask. That's yeah. for sure. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, you don't ask for outlandish things, but you ask of for course not. things that you know that uh, as God's will provide. And by George, it works. It's one of the great miracles of life. I mean, just ask God for for guidance. You know, that's, guidance? You aren't kidding. And He gives it to you. Yeah. I don't know how, but it it work, works. Yeah. That's All of a sudden, your thoughts get clearer, and yeah, and you do what you should be doing. Yep. That's so something to be said about that for sure part of the miracle of life yeah well i'm gonna miss you when you're gone on your voyage but i'm yeah. glad you're gonna see family yeah and all. a couple weeks go see my grandson oh good how old is he he'll be turning two in september oh how about that two yeah. years old he's a handful he's a little monster he's yeah. all boy all yeah. boy he's calling you grandpa yeah <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we'll see what he Have calls Have you ever me. been called Grandpa before? Is Not he your yet. first grandchild? Yep. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. He'll be calling you Grandpa. That'll be something. I think at two years old, they start talking, don't oh, they? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> oh, I got to stand up for a second. Well, you got the old harmonica handy? Oh, I got the harmonica. got to get the, blow the cobwebs out of that thing at least once a week. Yeah. 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 That, our one friend there, <laughs> what, when that... She's always asking for "You Are My Sunshine" for her bird or something. Oh, really? Buggy bird or something. It's called. Yeah. You got a canary that sings "You Are I, Your My Sunshine." I don't sunshine. know. If he, if he sings along with you. <laughs>
Well, the dolphins sang along. We, that we sang to the dolphins. They yeah. came on in the other day. Five foot two, what'd you say? Eyes of yeah, blue. Eyes and the dolphin blue. came swimming Yeah, up. that's right. I wish well, I was the dolphin was that. five foot two, yeah. And they joined in was the Was that singing. when you and Kelly were out there? Yeah. yeah. Uh, I think he came over because Kelly was out there. Yeah, I'm sure of it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, my. So what do, what do we want to hear this uh, morning? Let's hear start with You Are My Sunshine here. You got it right too. You nailed it. Yeah, I don't think you I didn't drift off. Didn't hit any off. <laughs> didn't didn't swing into uh, 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 what was it? Uh, caissons are rolling yeah, you along. You wound up on the same the, tune you started with. Caissons aren't rolling just yet. <laughs> Not yet. But they could Think, be. You why never don't you know. Let them roll. Let them roll now. <laughs> well, the last, that was good. last read doesn't work. Oh, Lordy. Hey, that was some horse race, wasn't it, last week? Oh, was wasn't that, that fantastic, wasn't Get it? another a triple crown. Oh, what a horse. Can he was way ahead of everybody. Yeah, can you imagine how yeah. exhilarating that is for the yeah. jockey and the owner? And oh, fantastic. Even the horse. <laughs> I mean, the horse yeah, knows yeah. it did good. <laughs> Boy, that was some Somebody race. said they're going to put it out to pasture or something. Oh, yeah. Stud fees, seventy-five yeah. million or boy, something. What a life! Yeah, boy, oh boy. I <laughs> Every guy's know, dream. I didn't know the horse was a stallion. I, I thought the stallions are too unruly and they don't race them. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, no, there's a lot of studs out there. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't that be a wonderful job? Yeah. <laughs> Except they you, don't get to enjoy it. <laughs> especially if you got seventy-five million for it. There you go. <laughs> That's oh funny. my yeah i love to watch those horses run and it was a whole good tribute to the jockey too yeah followed his career since he was a little kid yep. sat on a horse when he was two years old or something this amazing it's all he ever wanted to do was to ride horses <laughs> well he got his wish yeah that triple crown's quite a feat you know there was something interesting apparently the owner had another horse racing and the other horse kind of helped uh, ran right. interference kind for this blocked. horse. Yep. It kind of blocked that second horse so he couldn't get out around him or yep. something. I guess that's legal. Yeah. It's, that was interesting. It's like car racing. They do that in car racing. Or do they? Where yep. they have a buddy that yep. helps? Yep. Huh. Or a teammate. Yeah, a lot of them are teams. And, uh, uh, uh. Yep. Very interesting. Yep. Yeah, there were a lot of people upset about that, but oh well. All is fair in love and war. I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I watched it and I think that other horse if he'd, uh, he, the other horse wasn't blocking him, he could have gotten out and around if he'd wanted to, he but he just wasn't yeah. fast enough. Oh! So? And the horse is only two years old, I guess, wasn't he? Oh, was it? Two years old? Yeah. That's a baby. Yeah. It's a really, really young one. Huh. That's young. I didn't know that. Right. Wow, two years. I think that was it. Maybe I'm wrong, but I think he was a two years. Maybe, maybe the little. So older. how long are you going to stick around today? Well, uh, Jenny usually comes this Friday. She comes on 12, 30, 1 o'clock. We have a big swim and head out. Mm. That should be fun. I guess she's having her swim meet there next month sometime. Well, her practice starts tomorrow. Yeah. So I thought I'd go see her practice. You're going to go watch her practice. Are you and I going to the meet together like I we did know. a year ago? Know. That's too far away for me to plan. <laughs> <laughs> I go day to day. 
<laughs> yeah. That's how I met Jenny. Was remember you took me to that meet and she yeah. won her event and yeah. you introduced me and. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, that was a year ago, I think. All right. Well, thank you for the the words of wisdom this morning. That was very good. Strength. Well, I, I like it. That's a good word. But, Strength. Uh, it's just something to kind of bear yeah, in mind. It's, it's a good word. Strength is important. Yeah, and part of strength too, uh, physical strength is uh, keeping your weight down. Yeah, that's important well, too. So that ties in. I don't your think diet. you have to worry about that. Well, it ties into your diet, so that all ties together too. You need to keep your weight up. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, just generally speaking, you got to have the strength to eat the right foods and not yeah. too much of them. Well, let's talk about something else. <laughs> You're making me feel guilty now. No, not at all. You're in good shape. <laughs> yeah, but could, it's just part I of the whole part pounds. of your lifestyle. I found when I'm eating meals, what I got to force myself because I'm usually kind of hungry. Instead of gobbling real fast, I got to force myself to take my time yeah. and savor each mouthful. So you eat less. Instead, instead of gulp, that. gulp, gulping. Yeah. Eat you much know, less doing yeah, that. And, you say, and it's, it's more fun. You savor it. There you go. So you got to savor the flavor. Slow down a little bit and savor it instead of gobbling. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, physical strength is, I mean, they're all, you know, like you said, the, the spiritual, the emotional, these flies or something else. Yeah, well, yeah, strength is yeah you got to have the strength not to get bugged. I tell you. <laughs> Here's my answer to getting bugged. Your answer bugged. to the flies. <laughs> that takes Raid, the flies. what do you got? Oh, Hot you don't shot, have raid. Yeah. Hot shot. Ugh. That does yeah. the job. They were really bad this morning, but yeah, they well, have a, they have a lot of physical strength. I think the flies. <laughs> if I kind of just spray the air around me, they all just kind of drift away. You gotta be careful away. when you do that. That's not good to be breathing that in. Well, it's only. A Ugh, it's thing. only. <laughs> I'm sure it says, do not inhale on that can. <laughs> well, I try not to. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're dredging away. Well, give us one more tune on the old harmonica before I head off here. Was that I think by, it was, by the light of the... I think was it was it? a silvery a moon. silvery moon? I think it was. <laughs> White coral bells. Yeah. Along the garden walk, that's, lilies of the valley on a slender stalk. That's a little, I think, before my time. Oh, how I wish that I could hear them ring. That will only happen when the angels sing. Hopefully we won't be hearing them soon. So you got to listen to the angels sing. Yep. They're I, always singing for us. They're always singing. I, I've heard them bowling the past couple days. Have you heard the bowling balls? Oh up there boy, and how? Around in heaven? <laughs> yeah, that was really something, boy. boy, oh boy. A couple days ago, that thunder yeah. and lightning was incredible. Oh, and it was close. It really whammed so oh, hard it hurt your ears. All over the place. It wow. It was intense. Spectacular. I was out driving people around in it. Oh, it oh yeah, but that was hard. Yeah. It came down like a waterfall. It was like a car wash. I was driving through the car wash. Like a waterfall. <laughs> Boy, George, you got to be careful driving. You don't see too well when it comes down. Well, like i got to get rolling. Thank you for the concert, the advice, as it's always. It's always a delight. Yeah. I'll see you later. Look forward to I'll it. I'll see you probably sooner than later. Okay. Enjoy your book. I'm going to yep. go say goodbye to Scott and Karen here. Good show. I hope you get some more hugs out here. Oh, I've been getting good ones. Okay. I'll send, I'll try to find some girls and send them your way. <laughs> so what'd you get? Karen, check oh. that out. It's, it's a live, live Murex. Live a live Murex. Murex. Mm -hmm. 
Never wow. Yeah. An Apple Murex with the snail inside. Yeah. Yeah. We don't it keep those, but that is beautiful. <laughs> you can see the operculum in there. Yeah, that the is awesome. It's a nice one. That is a great shell, Karen. That's a nice size one, too. There it is. A live apple murex. If it didn't have something in it, I'd be taking that home. <laughs> oh, no kidding. <laughs> It's like you hate it when you find them alive, but it's, but you it's love nice. It too. Yeah, it's yeah. nice to know they're out there. I yeah. found a gorgeous whelk so the other nice. day that was alive. What'd you get? Yeah. Just, Ooh, roll, just rolling on a the little, sandbar out there. A little baby tulip. The best thing we got all day, Rob. Uh huh. I can't show you. Why? Because we didn't have a camera with us. Oh. Uh, Two manatees and a whole pot of dolphin down in the past. Oh, were the dolphins down there? Yep. Two manatees first, and they kind of disappeared, and then all of a sudden, a bunch of dolphins showed up. We saw it little baby five. tulip. Wow. Yeah, rolling around for a while. Five babies. dolphins? Yeah. Yeah, yeah these flies are. The babies. Yeah, babies and dolphins. Yeah, it was beautiful. Yeah, pretty cool, though. Where were they? Right, right out of the Oh, past. right. The wow. The there was out. such a current down there. I'm yeah. surprised. They were, they were sitting there in the yeah, current, just bobbing up and down for a while. eating the fish as they come <laughs> out of the... Were they close or were they kind of far out? No, they came in pretty close. Oh, wow. So two the manatees. manatees were out and... quite a bit. They were, looked like they were just kind of floating out and walking wow. out there. and Tipping. You could, you could see them yeah. tipping. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. See their big tails. And we, we Wish the sun out. was out. Oh, it would have been so much Yeah. Better. That's the first time I've ever seen a manatee. Really? So, well, there you go. So, well, it's nice cool. to know they're still here. Yeah. I thought this dredging scared them all away. No. It was, that's a great morning. Well, I'm down there. i got to start... The march back down the beach. Get moving, Miss. Maybe I'll yeah. see you later. All right. Oh, All right, Karen. Good. Oh, I'm have a great day. Will. Okay. Happy you guys Father's have fun. Day. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Yep. Thanks. See you later. All right. So, so many wonderful people out here. Oh, look at these little conks down here. Two little fighting conks side by side. Two little fighting conch shells side by side. We'll see how far I can get here before I get my battery, my low battery warning. I started down in area two this morning. all new this little spit of sand out here been a lot of people out walking on it some ladies up here doing some shelling up ahead I mean they've already been out on this sandbar but I'm gonna walk out there anyway just for the heck of it overcast out here today kind of Kind of dreary. When the sun's not out, you don't get to see the beautiful blues and greens of the water. Still gorgeous, though, but... That was a nice Murex, that apple Murex that Karen found. That was cool. A live apple. We saw that live lightning whelk earlier this week that I found on the sandbar. So nice to know that there's live shells out here. It's kind of cool to see the what's inside the shells we find on the beach. That's where we were just a little while ago chatting with Roy right up there on the beach. That's the north end of Area 4. The water feels great out here. 85 degrees, whew, really warm. Very, very warm. That yeah, little scallop.
very overcast as I look to the east there the sun's socked in behind all those clouds there not a great day to come out and get some sun still a nice day for a beach walk Wow, lucky Karen and Scott getting to see some manatees and dolphins this morning. So jealous. It's all about timing. You just never know what you're going to see here, what or when. Good morning, how are you guys doing? How are you? Great. Good morning. Any luck? Not much. Not much, yeah. Lots of broken shells this morning. A few nice little ones. I'm really I found a really cool piece of worm rock this morning. A really nice little piece of worm rock. Look at that. You can really see the worm tubes there. That is so neat. That is a really nice piece of worm rock. Darn flies, They're so annoying. We did see lots of fighting conks on the beach this morning. Didn't see any live ones. It's always fun to see a live fighting conch. Pretty feisty little critters. Whoa. Look at that. That just caught my eye. A little, little baby murex. I believe that's a little baby murex. Holy smoke. Amazing that I spotted that. Just looked down at the right time. Wow, very cool. Got to remember to look for the little ones. It's not all about the big giant ones. Lots of little, little treasures on the beach. Give you a look around here. Look out into the Gulf. back up the beach looking north here. There's that barge out in the water that's pumping the sand out. Remember earlier up at Wiggins Pass we saw the dredging barge. Well here's where it's being deposited all the way down here at Area 4 Beach just offshore. You can see it's spewing out there.
continue walking back to where I started from. There's a little baby snowy egret. That's a young one, pretty small. This little yellow feet. Yeah, take some time, look through my photos and videos here on Facebook. Lots of great stuff. You see a lot of this wildlife, the birds, some great photos of them. Some great shots of the ospreys. Pretty peaceful out here this morning. Not a whole lot of people. I don't know if we had any sea turtle crawls on our beach last night or not. I didn't see any this morning. I don't know if there was any action south of where I hit the beach this morning, down in area one. But we didn't see any. I really thought we were gonna see some more crawls. There's one of those new little sandbars offshore here. popping up all along the beach. It's all new sand being deposited by that barge over there. Maybe that'll help protect our beach from the next storm. Maybe it's building a little natural barrier, a little barrier, it's not natural, but you see that little sandbar out there, it's all new. Really easy to get to this beach. If you're on I-75, just get off at exit 111, Immokalee Road. I'll turn, if you're on 41, go west on Immokalee Road. Just take Immokalee Road west all the way to the end. And it essentially dead ends at the front entrance to the park there. Couldn't be any easier to get to. You come out for the first time, tell them you saw the beach on Southwest Florida television. Let them know. You know, I really have a good time coming out here doing this. I love being out here with Mother Nature. Nobody pays me to come out here and do this. If you want to make a little contribution, it's always appreciated. Comes in handy, every little bit helps pay the phone bill. Very important to keep the phone up and running to do these beach walks. But if you do want to help out, you can find my PayPal account info in the description of this post as soon as this live feed ends, just a little bit later. Make sure you subscribe to get the notifications when I go live so you don't just stumble upon them because I do not have a schedule 
for these live feeds. It's when the mood strikes and my work schedule fits in. And the weather, of course, the weather is a big one. So be sure you sign up for the notifications. And tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television if you like what you see. Our little community gets a little bigger every day here, our little Facebook community. Always, always, always let everybody know where you're watching from. Introduce yourself to the group. That's a big part of these beach walks, everybody getting to know each other. You see that little snowy white climb along? That was cool. But yeah, we're kind of like a family here, a beach family, a Facebook family. There's a lot of friendships that have actually been formed through these beach walks. People have actually come here from all around the world. They've seen the beach and they've come, introduced themselves, and we've become friends. Pretty amazing. out here shelling. You gotta decide if you wanna walk along the water or you wanna walk, walk along the beach looking for shells. You can find them in both places. Pretty overcast here. The sun is ducked in behind the clouds early today. There's a little sunshine when we came out this morning. This is area two, looking north from area two, there's that boardwalk that I took a picture of yesterday when the sun was shining. It's looking north. This is the north end of area two, right here. Then areas three and four and five. Area five up by Wiggins Pass. Almost back to my starting point here. I started down in the middle of area two. We're almost back to where I began. We almost walked the entire beach this morning. We just didn't see area one. I started somewhere along here. A little sun shining down the very south end down there. Well, thanks for tuning in. Have a wonderful Friday, wherever you're watching from. Again, be sure to tell your friends about Southwest Florida Television. Make sure you hit the like and follow buttons.
TGIF. Until the next live feed, have a great day. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.